Okay, everybody, as you can see, the resounding result of my hat or no hat result was no hat. I think I only had one person who actually said keep the hat. So from now on, all my blogging videos will feature me with a bald head. A couple of nights ago, I was in Canterbury. I plucked up the courage to walk up and down the high street with a selfie stick with my phone on the end of it and just try and see how much confidence I could gather gain just by walking up and down Canterbury High Street with a selfie stick and a phone. A little bit self-conscious, but I think I managed to pull it off. After about two or three minutes, it wasn't as bad as I thought. The only problem was um, actually having the courage to actually talk and walk at the same time. But that's enough waffling for me. I will now introduce me walking through the streets of Canterbury with a bright pink selfie stick. <laughs> Right, tonight's the night. I'm going to try and film myself walking around the streets of Canterbury. It's going to be the first time that I've filmed a vlog style video out in public, so I'm a little bit self-conscious. I asked the kids if any of them had a selfie stick, and the answer was yes, Daddy, I've got a selfie stick. What I wasn't aware of, though, is the actual selfie stick is bright pink. There it is. There's my selfie stick for the evening. Bright pink. A selfie stick so i'm walking down the middle of the high street at 8 p.m with a pink bright selfie stick so that's uh, that's not helped my self-consciousness whatsoever but anyway let's uh let's see how i get on hopefully this video will be longer than 10 seconds if i bottle it walking down the high street right, so far it's not too bad it's not too hard to record it's just looking like a complete weirdo talking to a phone or talking to yourself you see behind me somewhere there's a cat in the cathedral and getting shot all right i made it to the high street talking to myself i don't need to be drunk doing this i think in the future I'm doing it drunk will be easier <laughs> i'm not drunk drunk but just like two or three pints canterbury library most famous pound shop, pound bus, pound world of it. We have some busking going on. Canterbury has lots of buskers. I'm surprised they're all busking this time of night though. Listen. There's some more on the violin busking. Come on my girl. <laughs> Let's see if we can get a shop. Right, I'm going to take you up towards the Camp Cathedral now. Obviously the world famous World Heritage Site. Won't take too long to walk up there from here. The turn's on the left and I'll be there in about five minutes. Okay, behind me is the entrance to the Canterbury Cathedral. I'm just trying to get used to holding this thing on a selfie stick. It's dark, that's all right. I need to find a lamp post somewhere. There you go, more churches. Alright, going through one of the newish places in Canterbury, the new shopping complex, the White Friars. I think we're getting, I'm actually, I'm actually walking through Canterbury doing this with a pink selfie stick. I didn't feel self-conscious before, I do now. Four or five people in front of me. Not many, no, no one behind me. And at least it's light here. Yeah, now my selfie stick is about half a metre out in front of me. I'm just casually walking through Canterbury, white fries, there's a security guard. It's a little bit weird. I don't know, about 50 years time, this will be seen on YouTube or the internet. You know, all the Canterbury. Remember how Canterbury was 50 years ago. Head down to the corner. I'm off, I'm on. It's a weird looks now. Oh, I think I'm going to go for it. I'm just going to walk down the entire Canterbury High Street with a pink selfie stick. Extend it to max. How many weird looks you get? It'd be easier doing this with a uh, GoPro camera on it. Hopefully, my battery will die as well. Oh, God, it's 
loads of people here. Yeah, it's got a laugh like it's full over. Yeah, nightmare. So, so far, I I got brave enough to uh, walk with a selfie stick out in front of my face. Next stage will be being brave enough to talk a little louder than 0.5 decibel. And as you can see, I've got the Academy High Street now behind me. That's better. Now I'll tell you I'm going selfie stick in front of me, phone on the end of it. Some people might be used to it by now, to be walking to the town with selfie sticks. I should get arm rake, holding the selfie stick in arm rake. He gave me a weird look, he knows what I'm doing. I made it all the way down to the bottom of the high street. <laughs> well, I've made it back to the car after walking down the entire Canterbury High Street with a pink selfie stick extended out in front of me. How did it go? Well, I managed to conquer the actual self-consciousness of walking through the city high street with a pink selfie stick extended out in front of me. Didn't get many strange looks from anybody, but the hardest thing for me was to actually talk. It's difficult to uh, walk and talk and look where you're going. I don't think it'd be that hard actually after you've done it two or three, maybe four times. Maybe after a few people have given you strange looks or a few people have laughed at you, maybe you get over it after a while. I don't know. I'm pretty sure someone was laughing at me near the end of the video. To be honest, made me laugh just as much because she was laughing quite a lot. I got down to the bottom of the high street, looked at my phone, and it said 4% power left. So I think I finished and got to the end of the high street just in time. I'm going to wrap this video up when I get home and uh, do the usual spiel about subscribing and liking and all that sort of palaver. Right then, that's my adventurous evening done. Cheerio. <coughs> Okay, so as you can see, walking through the High Street of Canterbury wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, but it was still very difficult to actually pluck up the courage to actually do a vlog at the same time. It was easy enough to walk around with a selfie stick right out in front of you, but the difficult thing was to actually do a running commentary of what I was doing. I was, I was hoping to point out some shops and I point out some people, but it was just, just a little bit too, um, too weird, I think. <laughs> If I get with some more subscribers and this blogging lark takes off a bit more, then I'm hoping to buy some equipment. I'm going to buy one of those, it's an Osmo, where you put your phone on it and it's a, it's a gimbal, so it doesn't look all shaky like this, it's not up and down and around. It's a lot more stable and a bit more professional looking. So if you're watching this video, subscribe, tell your friends, give it a share, give it a like, put some comments down below, and then um, hopefully I'll be able to talk the wife into letting me spend some money. A couple of days ago, I posted a post onto Facebook on one of the Facebook groups, and I'd, <laughs> I had so many replies about shout outs that I, I wasn't able to keep up with it, and there was no way I could be able to do shout outs to every single person that requested a shout out. So, what I decided to do was to create some kind of shout out lucky dip where I would literally write all the names down that ask for shout outs every time I do a video, and I'll just literally pull the names out of a hat, and whoever comes out of the hat gets a shout out. 
Okay, that's it for today's video. I'm off onto Facebook now to request some shout outs. So if you want a shout out in my next video and be part of Lee's shout out Lucky Dip, either leave a comment below this video or come and find me on Facebook. You'll probably find me on most of the YouTube Facebook groups. So now I'm off to edit this video together. If you liked it, give me a like, subscribe to my channel and leave some comments. Cheerio. Thank you.